All right, <clears throat> let me get started. Okay, let me get this bike started. Come on. Yes, okay. Uh, sea milk. What is a belt? Anyway, we're on our way to a uh, fancy temple here. And we thought we'd talk about this. So uh, as soon as we arrive, we'll catch up with you guys. Uh, so basically, the One Belt, One Road project is China's low-key effort. I should say, I should say high-key effort to expand its influence and uh, project itself throughout the developing world because China has had this rhetoric or this kind of self-image that it's projected to the rest of the world that it is non-confrontational, it's peaceful, and down with the imperialist powers that go and expand their influence elsewhere. So when China started to get more money and they actually did want to project themselves across the world, um, they had to find a tricky way to do it. So what was already laid down the groundwork for this kind of ancient trade route that went through all of china and also into the you know these areas all the way to egypt it was the silk road and basically they want to use that historical rhetoric to make this a very very much more pa palatable way to expand itself into the developing world so we're going to talk about actually what's happening there are you ready yeah i'm ready we're, we're going to go into this beautiful about it. temple we're going to go into this awesome temple as well mm -hmm. um I have to say something, and the, the whole point of this is I'm not trying to poo-poo China's attempts right. at trying to expand or trying to help their economy, things right. like that. But what I am going to poo-poo is the idea that um, they're trying to show that they're a massive, prosperous nation who's going to lift other nations out of poverty, where in China itself, right. people still suffer massive amounts of poverty. Right. You know what I mean? Now the effort to promote this as a positive thing has gone so far as to even on their own the chinese government's youtube channel which i find kind of hilarious and ironic that yes, they have a youtube that channel ridiculous? and a twitter yep. and an instagram and a facebook they uh they've been putting out raps and no what exactly there and that is along the also road <laughs> Propaganda, soft fire propaganda to make sure. people understand what this is. So basically, like I, I told the, everyone earlier, it is a trade route from China through the developing world. And they're putting in, instead of just uh, you know, setting up shops or moving Chinese people out there, what they're doing is putting in high speed rails, they're putting in yes. ports, they're putting in all these things that infrastructure, would infrastructure, infrastructure, right? right? Yeah. And I've said this since the beginning, it's uh, <laughs> another way for China to say, we did this for you, now you owe us, or Absolutely. we own you, right? Well, it's all about getting these developing nations in debt. Right. So then they can claim the natural resources and things like that of said developing nations. Right. You know, that's what they've been doing in Africa for a long time mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Right? Shall we go up? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we shall. Okay. Yeah, this is very interesting, by the way, this entire temple complex. This is called... We'll put a GPS link for you guys. This is called Shen'an Temple and it's in Hualien. Yeah, it's really easy to get to. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. So if you happen to be here, you know, check it out if you like this kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, One Belt, One Road. So the issue with One Belt, One Road is not so much that it is uh, a kind of low-key attempt to expand Chinese influence around the world. You touched on something, Winston, and this is my personal fault with this project, yep. is that China's acting like an imperialist power when it hasn't sorted out its own problems and we have <laughs> we have seen all of china and we know firsthand that most of china isn't there yet so i think the populace of china would be kind of upset to know that there are trillions of dollars being pumped into pakistan afghanistan yes egypt when guizhou doesn't have running water and they're eating rats yeah, no, for sure. That's, that's the thing. I remember a very vivid image in my mind. We were riding through, I think it was Goyja. It was, yeah. And there was this road, okay? And there are these, like, peasants, for lack of a better word. 
nothing going on over here. Look at all this cool stuff. That's yeah, crazy, yeah? Look at that big dragon up there and everything. That's yeah, pretty awesome. That is cool. So we were going down this road, well, actually it was up a road, and there were these really struggling peasants. I remember very clearly carrying, you know, a typical, they're carrying like a stick on their back with yeah. laden with heavy farm goods or whatever. And they're struggling up this muddy hill and there are potholes and it was raining and it was disgusting and like we were going up there and having a hard time riding on these roads and there's massive propaganda signs basically saying like how awesome China is and how fantastic we are and how powerful we are and I just remember thinking to myself what do the people think those peasants that are walking up these like muddy roads so right. there's no there's no road no cut off from the rest of the China no electricity these guys are in like dire straits threadbare clothing carrying a heavy load and they see these signs of you know the leader clapping and saying like we're so powerful and high so speed great. rails and like you know banquets yeah. and <laughs> and uh, I just thought you know fix fix your issues at home first before you try to you know fix the rest of the world mm. you know what I mean people can give, give America crap for always trying to police everyone but at least America back home it's the biggest charitable it's also the biggest charitable country in yeah the world. i mean you, you've got your stuff sorted so now you can think about going elsewhere yeah i think right. you take home take care of your home first right yeah right now i was gonna say it's not all negative but i have to say something really sad what's that these projects these infrastructure projects have already started a bubble similar to the housing bubble in that these projects have gone completely corrupted and unregulated in some of these areas yeah so you know, some areas have had five to ten billion dollars put into a high-speed rail project that haven't even broken ground yet. Sure. Yet the money, they're still asking for money. And so what's happening is in, in some of these areas, these companies will go out into the middle of Africa, in the middle of Bangladesh, right? And they'll say, we need some Belt Road money. Yep. Hook me up, government. They send them a bunch of money and either make shoddy, really shoddy versions of it and keep the rest or just don't even start it. Yeah. So it's imploding on itself and I don't even think it'll get 10% of the way. Yeah, you know what I mean. I have a feeling that uh, it's going to backfire and it's going to fail. Mm. But we say that at the same time, many people predicted that the housing bubble would fail. So I mean, it, it <laughs> might continue to go just because of right. the sheer force, spending of power, yeah. will mm. of the Chinese government to not lose face. Now the problem with that is yeah. that, and this is something I'm, I've covered on my channel, mm -hmm. is that a lot of analysts, and political analysts and people have come to the conclusion that one of the biggest things, reasons that the Soviet Union collapsed was because of excessive spe uncontrolled spending into new territories. And this is almost exactly what you're seeing right now. Yeah. And so I'm going to talk about that on my channel. But You know, having grown up in Africa, I've seen a lot of the similar, a lot of, there are a lot of parallels to be drawn here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, with the South African ANC government will get all these tenders and um, it's called tenderpreneurship. So all the connected people in the government get tenders to mm. like build X, Projects, Y, Z. Right. Yeah. And they never get built or mm. they get built very badly because mm. it's all about just funneling money, corrupt money to corrupt people. Right. And in Africa, it's worse than China. That's right. something I've always said is, you know, uh, Chinese politics, everybody knows there's a lot right. of corruption there. But they still get the job done. Uh -huh. Maybe not very well, but they'll right. probably put like at least 50% of the money that's given <laughs> maybe, to them. Yeah. yeah. But in Africa, maybe 10% of the money will be put into something and the rest gets pocketed, you know, mm -hmm. lines their pockets. So I, I can see a lot of parallels here and I can tell you right now, it's, it's not a good idea. If you're getting your country involved in this whole one belt, one road thing, you're basically taking this belt and you're sticking it around your neck, <laughs> you're hanging yourself from it and you're going to end up like thrown on the road from the back of a truck and decomposing the sun. That's the problem is that the anger and the, the disruption that's going to come is going to be from the people that look at look inwards. Yeah. And you're already starting to see that look inwards and start to say, wait a minute, why are we throwing trillions of dollars at the rest of the world? Yeah, I mean, China, China needs it. The Chinese people need the infrastructure at home. It, a very telling thing is in that propaganda rap thing that we saw. Mm. It says a, Malay, a Malaysian boy will get a job. Malaysia is twice as wealthy as China already per person, so they're, they're going out of their way to, to arrogance. project it's arrogance, arrogance, right? It's, yeah. like, it's kind of like a guy who's just started bodybuilding and he's starting to get some muscle and he's challenging like Arnold Schwarzenegger to right. arm wrestling. And match. he's 100% sure he's going to win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he hasn't got there yet. You know, build <laughs> yeah. your muscle first. Right. That's you a good point. Mean? All right, cool. Well, I guess that's it, really. Mm -hmm. um, anything you'd like to tell our subscribers before we sign off? Well, whether you believe in the One Belt, One Road project or you believe that a nation should develop itself and develop its own problems and uh, get yeah. rid of those problems, yeah. or not, it doesn't really matter. Leave us a comment below and tell us what you think. 
Yeah. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you have subscribed so you can see our future videos. Yeah, absolutely. And whether you're a corrupt official or a, a non-corrupt official, which I know they're very in short supply, really. <laughs> we love you all the same. So until next time, you know the drill. As always, stay awesome. New ADV China every 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over here on Mondays. New Lao 86. Don't forget, every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, Serpents at A on Fridays, same time.